here we are let me test my mic okay it seems all right the camera seems to be working all right so we are live hey youtube i'm back with another valhalla live stream for those who are watching welcome guys my name is deepak and i do live streams on this channel every day and if if any of you guys have been following me for the past couple of days i've been playing valhalla since it was released so hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and if any of you are fans of Assassin's Creed, you can subscribe to my channel guys. We're gonna explore the Viking Saga together. I'm gonna play it until the end of the game. So, hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, please hit the like button down below and subscribe if you guys wanna see more. I would really appreciate that. And also, I just want to mention guys, if you guys have any sort of suggestions or feedback about my stream, please help me out and let me know in the comment box down below. And I would really appreciate it and I would reply to every one of them. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, where did I leave? Speak to Ranvi. First, let's check what are my quests. Brewing the 
rebellion. Let's go here first. First blinding rush. So I don't think it's useful. This might be useful. Sigurd is waiting in the Yale house. And how far is this place? 2000 meters. I got a fast travel. Oh, I cannot fast travel. I just have to walk. So I'm here right now. Let's go. Now the first quest on the screen. There's my boat. Oh, it's there. Can I build this? No, no, no. I must take my leave. So long. Until next we meet. Okay, boat is here. Hey, there's no one. My boat. Hey, boy! What does your dick? Off we go! Oh, I don't think I need a boat. sail all the way over here and then yeah I'll do that. I'll sail for a while. We must row in these waters. We can sail. No raising the sail here. We can use the sail here, Abel. Take hmm. Interesting. Time, but doesn't seem like it's night, it seems like it's day. Am I going the right way? Oh, yeah. Take the mask down. And shields of white All right, I think from now, from here, I know we can continue. I'll just go by my horse. Let's collect this. But does this horse have a name? Because in the previous version, like in Odyssey and Origins, it did have a name. And I think it's uh, in Odyssey it was Phobos. I don't even remember if there's any name for this horse. But anyways, let's go to our quest to meet our brother Sigurd.
Must be blocked from the other side. That is Fox's Hill. She with. See the shop. You should always be fully stocked. Mm. You like that? It could be yours. Anyways, let's buy this. <laughs> Take care of yourself out there. Titanium. by 200 of them. This could come in very handy. Hmm. Oh, that's a good this. one. It's just your style. Until next we meet. You know what, actually, I can sell the young stuff. Yep. Ow! Good. Just what I was looking for. Cheese. Just looking for cheese. I hope to see you again soon. I will see you later, friend. Looks like trouble. You in the bush, rat? <laughs> All right, I guess people are done here. The old left. 
think so. Oh, there's the key. Oh, this guy's coming. Look at him. Get around the side! <laughs> Where's your friend?
Watch my lead. What is? Let's fight this guy first. Shooting arrow from far away. MF. Coming from so many shooting on his leg. <laughs> Can't. Need to get on the other side. Go. You gotta shoot the thing on the ladder and you fall down <laughs> and then we have to climb up. What are you doing buddy? Solum modo in paradisum. Pax eterna est una via ad emundazione propria vitae eius terenae terminales. Another guy over there. Fight him. 
The other side must be barred. Where did it go? No, I'd forget it. Let's just go to our quest. It. And why is it not showing up? Oops. What do you see, Sunan? This must be it. And how am I supposed to find him? <laughs> Sigurd is not here. I'll ask around. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I am asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Gidrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Axenifort Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman will stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Right, let's go find out. Sigurd and Basim headed south. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. What's all that about? Come 
You're hiding in the bush then. Friends. Still there. Still there. Still there. Yeah. It smells like a fish house. Good spot to hide. <laughs> Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahalan Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolfkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods! All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Gidrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Right, I guess I gotta fight. Sigurd. Has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, 
than all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face, and heard the litany of my forefathers, and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga later. <gasps> Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous stains of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. Lady, there's no need for slaughter. We all want peace for Xenophotshire. Can we find some agreement? You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd of the Hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done rosy with this ass. offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. Right to find it! What have they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to Where talk with... Where is she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leich Vila garrison. Basim, Eivor, <laughs> to horse! Again, Aver, you and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Aver. A most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Aver. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the northern way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. 
With sharpened chin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felt tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its lifeline into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales your siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand, Asim. It was the glorious yeah. dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. Have a look in the larger plan. Above conquering England, what larger plan could we need? Patience, Ava. Patience. Fine. Yeah. We have time yet. This place is heavily guarded. Alright, we're here. What next? They are about to execute the prisoners. Who's coming this way? This guy's coming over here. Friend, let me out of here before they have to Over, would you? Watch my lead.
friend. Should be out of here before they huff my head. Get me out of here before they have my head. Right. I think that's it. <laughs> Gidrid sent me. Let's get away from this place. Safely over there. Over there. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads. Where are you guys going? Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke. You see, brother, your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east, at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich, mm. and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. All right, let's go back and get our stuff. Aid me. Be my eyes. This area is off limits.
spazieren. up. Let's see if I can climb up. <laughs> yep. There's something inside, let's look at that. Right. Oh, let's get up. Come on, man. Cool enemies but like that. <coughs> uh, I don't think it's useful. Jar that I can use to blow the soap. I thought I did that already. I guess not.
take a look from above. There's gotta be something in this house. I think I can just throw it. I went in slow motion. Hey. Lay Villa Garris. Okay, what next? Where do we go? No, there's no s like a travel point. I guess I have to just stick the horse in there. I gotta take my horse to the mountain. No soldiers here now. Gidritz has cleared them all out. Good job, Gidritz. Let's go talk to him.
She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing these, lad. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Skidrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Giedrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Giedrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could ship away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. I took my old sisters, cousins, aunts. Castle. How far is it? So we're here. Let's go create a pastoral point first. We have to fast travel point first. Dear God, we're in trouble! Watch out over there, Careful men! With oh, Christ in holy heaven! Giedrich asked me to help you whenever I could. These wind soldiers have got us in a tough spot. We're grateful for any help you can give. Won't let us lose. Is it? 
find out. to go. Yeah. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight with these guys. They will attack on sight. Do you see? This is the camp. Is there anything inside? Seems like there is. Let's go. No. Show me what lies ahead.
there, buddy. Do we dance around the idea? And here's Eivor. <coughs> ah, you timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Eatman into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. <sighs> Albanes. More than we can count. I have already plundered St. Albanes' Abbey and lifted its treasures from Nave to Crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Ava, okay, there was a them. time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. Y your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided okay. St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. Is it... We go by the river? I mean... Where is this? Just cross the river. On the horse. What do we know of this woman? Very little. She appears to be an adventurer of sorts. Let's upgrade my skills. I have four. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. <coughs> Take your horse. These guys are running behind me. Sitting there. Come on, buddy. Go. What are these guys doing? Find out if I have to go all the way back just because they won't follow me. No! Soon in, guide me. Right side, the idiot! 
Survey the area, Sunan. Come <laughs> on. 
this guy. Hey. We have the advantage. Hey. Okay, buddy, I'm coming for you. I saw you shooting arrows from far away. You're ready, <laughs> Convenientes calciamentas son... dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your guard so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. What? The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key and depart with your strange friend. What was that? Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. She's a Christian. Are you sent by the angels of Sackless, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm, a humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts. The instruments of the children of Sackless the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object. 
A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? <coughs> Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. All right, let's Lead go. The way. Come. A sword. It looks like a cross. How long were you in prison? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies. Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. Let's see what she has. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fouquet is a curator of objects of great worth. One of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory. About defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. While you waste precious hours dreaming of your true nature, our hope for swift victory is fading. Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee, O oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god led me here, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eber. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? Fine, the sooner go. we see this slab of rock, the better. <sighs> let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. What kind of stupid saga is this? What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathed you? For preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on Earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, or Yaldabaoth, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Saclus and his kind were wise in their time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Come on, how far is this place? Sure! Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt.
I'm right now not sure where we are going, but let's see what the story of the clock has to do with the story. This is the place up ahead. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Ransacked from floor to roof. Basim, stand guard outside. This was his <laughs> doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I asked uh. Paul to hide it well. But I do not know where. This moves. It must be there. Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest friend. This one <coughs> is a true god in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. How does she know that? You! Always stone. questioning, second guessing my wishes. You slowed us down, and I missed my chance. It's a stone, Sigurd. You're chasing shadows like a madman howling at the moon. What matters is victory against Edwin and her allies. This was my victory. To know my true self, my destiny, my... Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade. That stone, for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gadrid a word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Gadrid's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. What? Done. We do not! Avon! <laughs> no! Cut them down! <laughs> Leave them alive! Avon, are you mad? Edwin, please. We had our chance. We will speak of this, Ava. I will not forget.
sorry this time. Give up, you shit! Aver, you mock-minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. That's one view, Basim. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Gidrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind. And he mine. Until this day. Time makes oh. idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Gidrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eaton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother. You're lost in a sea storm of your own making. Is behind the stone. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. Fiery ambush. Before that, let's upgrade our skills. Next. Oh, there's something nearby. Let's go pick it up. <coughs> oh no, the horse is blocking the way. Excuse me, guys.
is this? What? This guy stuck? What the hell? is below me and even this is below me so let's get out so any way to go downstairs hmm. oh. I should not be seen in this area Then. Oh, I gotta shoot this. Is it? I think that's it. Now let's go back. Move that. to be a goliath how do i get in can i shoot this side how am i supposed to get in there Oh, 
next It'll show us Phobos available or not, or not available, whatever it is. But in this, yeah. this is mount. I should give a name to the house. It will be available throughout the game, so we're gonna call him. Stretch your wings, Sunan. What's wrong? Here they come! Quick men! Or they'll wipe us out! A brutal death. <laughs> Let's bleed you! Oh. We have this! out of the fire friend we're grateful to you Show me. Yep, I 
I should be cautious. What next? I can do here. Let's fast travel to this point. <coughs> Alright folks, before we continue, I'm just gonna take a small break and I'll be right back in a few minutes.
Folks, I'm back. So let's continue our quest. Oh, what was I supposed to do? Oh, it looks beautiful. Let's try and take a picture. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I have to 
two points, Let, let's utilize that. What does this do? Let's go. Okay, down here I see some iron ore. There's Fulke. Would you live under Edwin's boot? For that is where you. Now you. Uh. <laughs> follow. It's for the good of your Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered, the seas spit salt, the night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up. Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wane eye and stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, innit? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold. Wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake writhes, Loki yawls, poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! How does it end? They all die. Did he get it? He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. 
If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. Swiftness, he heard the softness. What was that? Why? Spring the trap now. Where's this oil merchant? Stop. I'm with you. Attack! Soldiers of Sacrus! May you die in ignorance! Cut them down, Aiden! <laughs> Doing, man. 
That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? You've spent too much time locked in that fed itself, okay? Weeks of fasting and prayer and abstinence can clarify that which we otherwise fail to see. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich. ...to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here... ...to pray for the souls of the dead before I join. Alright... ...fiery ambush... What next? Ringing signs... ...bell. Our father says... ...finally read us. Let's go. There's something over here. about this lamp, my friend. Fletchers of arrows enough for everyone. Twenty to a man. Gidrich. Eivor, have you dealt Edwin a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Right. Look, lads! There's Eivor! We're with you, Eivor! Those castle walls won't be thick enough to stop us! Is this? Eivor, Gietrich, and victory! The 
castle keep looks impregnable. That will be Edwin's last stand. So what am I supposed to do? Find a look in the castle defenses. Everything is inside. <laughs> Better keep my eyes open. <laughs> All right, I'm in. You'll do. Get round the side. <laughs>
is not fair. Get up, get up. Spring ults are large bolt casters. I must disable them. I shoot this. more to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Giedrich to lead his men. Sure. Oh. I 
the wall now. Yeah! I say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurd Jarl, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight. Now! You're a good man, Sigurd. And I'm thankful for all you've done. But without Eivor, I make no m Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of Hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I am here to speak with Giedrich. Go on, then. Your master awaits. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day, the lord of justice, the harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance read well. We're ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back. Castle!
No! Out! Out! Get away this time! Foolish game! I will send you to your sad supper in Valhalla! A reward in silver for each dead day! Lady Edwin! We will use your flesh as mulch for our crops! You felled the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. She disrespected me, and she will die. You fought with honor and purpose. For that... I put you in Gidrich's care. He will see you're treated well. I will, so long as you recant your friendship with that pot of warm piss, King Alfred. Agreed. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. 
I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. I have weakened Edwin's defenses enough. Ambushing her soldiers should be my final strike before the battle begins. Come on, buddy, <laughs> climb. What an idiot. Sometimes I get frustrated with this. <laughs> and we don't need him to climb here, it just randomly climbs a steep wall. And we don't want him to climb, he climbs all the <laughs> stupid things. So I've got to work on this. You see? The markings of the Ancient Ones. The Isu. The gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... Something. One who stands in a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I've passed through this doorway once before. But Sigurd, in a dream, not once, a thousand times. A thousand. What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... ...fogged. Shadowed. And yet I... ...I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... ...I see the grey tree of life... ...her boughs reaching... ...skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seda, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come. King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. Let's see. What 
Oh, As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not for your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer to exchange, Lord. You can answer, answer, answer. Please, no. no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Of course, he's gonna name his brother. Sigurd Jarl. I offer myself. Thank you, Basin. King Alfred. Wait. Hmm. Paladin Fulke. Are you with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man we need. He's worth more than twenty other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll gut you, troll woman! Tush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith. For the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. Basim, what was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away. What just happened? Lends me strength.
right, folks, I think I'll end my stream here. I'm gonna continue the, this, continue from here at night. I'm gonna start another live stream around 10 p.m. and I'm gonna continue from here. So that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe if you guys wanna see more. I would really appreciate that. And as I mentioned earlier, guys, if you have any sort of feedback or suggestions about my stream, please let me know in the comment box below. I'll be grateful for that. And I'll be replying to each one of them. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Could be soaked to the skin in the mall soon I know she got the good vibes when